Welcome back to Smash D20, a show where I take a look at the cast of Super Smash Bros. and adapt them to your campaign. Today I'm doing something very special, because I'm not just covering one character, but three. I'm going to adapt all three versions of Link. Now this isn't going to be an easy one and done, because these three are actually a little different from each other. But let's start with the common traits that all three of these Links possess. In every Legend of Zelda game, Hyruleans claim to be human, but have the iconic pointed ears of an elf. And when you look at Link, he doesn't have the thin wispy build you'd expect an elf to have. So, to split the difference here, I decided all three versions of Link are in fact half-elves. Given their varied arsenal, all three Links are proficient in every weapon, including the unusual, which does require them to obtain some weapon feats. Exotic weapon proficiency for all three, and honestly martial weapon proficiency would be required for young Link as well, but I'll get to that. All three of them are capable of hurling bombs that cause small explosions. The closest thing I have, apart from custom rules or diving really high into, really deep into alternate books of uh, Pathfinder, two, bom two simple explosion bombs are is Alchemist Fire, and but that works, particularly since the bombs in Smash Brothers do not particularly do that much damage. With the exception of Young Link, again we'll cover this, Link wields the Master Sword, which I figured is a plus five long sword that admits light, is holy, and possibly has ghost touch considering how often Link is able to actually hurt ghosts. Lastly, all three Links can perform a Whirlwind attack. Now in Pathfinder, Whirlwind attack is an actual thing and requires specific things. So we're getting into stat minimums this time. I don't normally do that. To obtain the Whirlwind attack feat, it is required for our links to have at least 13 dexterity, at least 13 intelligence, and have the dodge, mobility, and spring attack feats. Now that we talked about what the links have in common, let's tackle them separately. Let's deal with young Link first, because he's the oddball. First off, he doesn't have a Master Sword. Instead, if it, given his younger stature, it seems more like he's wielding a short sword. But it'd be alright if you did give him a long sword. He does not appear to be wearing any armor, but does seem to be carrying a small wooden shield. He seems like a younger adventurer, possibly a lower level NPC. He strikes me more of a rogue rather than any other class. And Young Link in Smash Brothers has a unique quality to his arrows when he fires his bow in that they are fiery perhaps even explosive arrows so you may want to look into that if you want to play as young link toon link again has no visible armor a wooden shield perhaps a large wooden shield judging by how it looks. Unlike Young Link, he definitely isn't a rogue. Toon Link strikes me more as a simple fighter. Lastly, we have just Link. Now, in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, this is the Breath of the Wild Link. Again, it doesn't appear like he has any armor, just a shield. But his shield is the Hylian Shield. And if you know anything about lore, the Hylian shield is a really good shield. Obviously large and metal, but also enchanted, so might as well make that a plus five, baby. The Breath of the Wild Link's 
bombs are special, as they can be detonated on command using the Sheikla Slate. Ask your DM about making the Sheikla Slate a special item that can just make vials of alchemist fire that detonate when you want them to. Given the nature of Breath of the Wild, the wandering exploration and staying in the woods all the time, well, in the wilderness, the Breath of the Wild Link is not a fighter. He's not a rogue. The Breath of the Wild Link is most definitely and without a doubt a ranger, and would probably be my favorite build out of these three. And there you have it. Three links for this wonderful episode. I hope this is helpful in building your own versions of Link, and I hope you enjoyed this video. This was Smash D20, and this is Josh signing out.